Today, we're going to be looking at the chapter eight packet. We're going to start on the first page. We're going to talk about bonding. And we're specifically going to introduce valence electrons. So in order to do that, we're going to first take a little picture, a little Pictionary here. If I were to draw this right here, and you should see what that is. And then if I drew this over here, hopefully you can tell what that is. And then if I drew this and pointed to it, that's what I want. So hopefully you recognize the blue is a window, the red were curtains, and then this top thing is called a valence, V-A-L-A-N-C-E, for all you interior decorators out there. And that is that outer curtain that goes above or on the outside of your curtains, your shades, your blinds. It's just a decorative thing to hide the top part of either your blinds, your shades, or your curtains. It's called a valence. It's the outer curtain. Well, in the same way, we have what are called valence electrons spelled a little differently, V-A-L-E-N-C-E. -E. And the valence electrons are in the outermost energy level. So those are pretty easy to figure out because you simply look at the electron configuration and look at the highest energy level that is listed. So for instance, sodium would end in 3s1, that's the highest level, level three. So it has one valence electron. And to draw the Lewis structure for that, you would simply draw the symbol Na, and you would draw one dot on the outside. You can draw the dots of any symbol, I'll just call it symbol X on the left, top, bottom, or right. Those are the four different spots. Okay, if we look at chlorine, it ends in 3s2, 3p5. So again, the highest level is level three. It's got seven valence electrons. So to draw that, and I'm going to stagger these so I have more room. So you're going to draw one on each side. So one, two, three, four. But you still have more to go. So you're going to go five, six, seven. So you could start to double up after you do four, one on each side. It doesn't matter which side you start with. If your single dot is on the top or the left or the bottom for chlorine, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna be able to go through these fairly quickly. So phosphorus ends in level three. That's gonna have five total valence electrons. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then a fifth one like that. These are called the Lewis structures. All right, now we're gonna look at calcium and calcium is gonna have only two valence electrons. So that's gonna be a Ca, and two dots, again, you could put them on any side you want. Now, bromine gets a little tricky because remember, it has a 4s2, a 3d10, and then a 4p3. Only the 4s and the 4p count as the highest level. That's the valence electron. So that's gonna be seven altogether. So you're gonna draw a BR with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Okay, as we move on, carbon is uh, going to end in level two, which is 2s2, 2p2. So we're going to draw four dots for that. Now, this is what's interesting. Sodium positive. Now, this is an ion. Okay, so remember we did sodium before, and sodium had this one valence electron right here. And that one valence electron is going to typically be what it loses when it becomes an ion. So if you lose that dot, You've lost that 3s1 right here. That 3s1 is gone, which was the highest level for sodium. So you would just draw sodium with no dots, and you would draw a plus to say that it's positive one. Now, this one is Cl minus called chloride. Now, remember, this ended in 3p5, but if it gains an electron, it's going to end in 3p6. So now it's going to have a total of eight valence electrons. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you have to put a minus sign to show that it has an extra electron. Phosphorus ended in 3P3. And you know that it wants to gain three electrons. So that one is going to become phosphorus with eight electrons now after it gains three. And it's called the phosphide ion, and it has a negative three charge. If we look at calcium, remember calcium ended in 4s2. It tends to lose those two electrons. So those two dots would get erased and you would simply have a calcium ion with a Ca plus two. And last but not least, if we look at the Br, remember that ended in 4s2 and 4p5 and that wants to gain 
uh, one more electron. So that's going to be a BR with eight valence electrons altogether, and you're going to put a minus one. So that's how you would draw the Lewis structures for each of these atoms and ions. And uh, the number of dots represents the number of valence electrons that you would have.